Have you had issues with low back pain and any hingey movement such as deadlifts and barbell hip thrusts? Well, today's Thorough Thursday is for you where we go over belt squat hip hinges. So let's get to it. So the reason I like this type of hip hinge uh, on the belt squat is because it's extremely easy on your low back and it's going to teach you how to move through your hips rather than your back. So as you can see here, I'm just going to put it on just like any other belt squat. But instead of squatting down, I'm just going to simply push my hips back, keep my back as flat as possible, and go as deep as I can without compromising my upper back position, and then come back up smoothly in the movement. So if you notice, if you look at the weight uh, stack on the belt squat, as I'm going down, it's moving the entire time. So that way, it kind of gives me a great visual feedback as to if I'm actually hip hinging or moving through my upper back. So as you can see right here, I purposely moved through my upper back a little bit to show you as I'm moving through the movement and my upper back's moving, the weight stack kind of stops in the middle of the movement. So if you do just a pure hip hinge, the weight stack will keep moving the entire range of motion nice, smoothly, and under control. Plus the benefit of doing this on a belt squat rather than trying it with a barbell of any type of movement, such as a good morning, you don't put your back in a compromised position. It's just constantly on your hips and it shows you if you're hip hinging or not. So I hope you guys like this version of Thorough Thursday. If you have any questions for your strength training needs, please visit agogiperformance.com.